Hello there and welcome to the second episode of the Prepare for Launch Nino Kuni series. Today we'll clear up some commonly asked questions such as PC pre-registration or the PC client and we'll talk about alt characters and re-rolling, whether it will be a thing or not. Before we start, there is a countdown to launch event on the game's official Discord and the more people participate, the more rewards we will all get, so join in the Discord server that's in the description Help us reach the final milestone and you can also get additional goodies such as the Explorer outfit or the Catarempus hat and a special title that they explain in the Discord how to acquire. Nino Kuni Crossworld is coming out on the 25th of May and it is a mobile MMORPG but they have also developed a PC client for it and it will be available in the same day on PC. Now despite that there is no pre-registration on PC as it's still mainly a mobile title. Meaning, if you'd like to grab those awesome pre-registration rewards, you'll have to pre-register using either your phone or using an emulator that's also completely fine. The PC client is incredibly well optimized and smooth even though it's still only in beta stages, but it still lacks certain quality of life options such as controller support for people who prefer to play with them. So keep it in mind, it's going to be a keyboard and mouse game on PC right now. To play on this PC client, you will also first have to install the game on either a phone or an emulator, as the PC client first requires a Netmarble verified email address that you can only register and connect to a game account that you have already created and logged in within Nino Kuni. That means you will have to start the mobile version of the game, log in using a Google account or whatever app store you use, create a character and once in game and possibly done with a tutorial, you will have to enter the settings menu where you'll have an option to register and connect your Nino Kuni account to an email address. Once this email address has been verified, you'll be able to log in through the PC client using it. That is it. It's definitely a bit of a hassle, but hopefully in the future they will also make it easier to register. If you don't have a proper phone, as mentioned earlier, it is fine to use an emulator just to register an account at least. Moving on, I would like to talk about re-rolling. Or, if you're unfamiliar with this gotcha term, the process of restarting an account until you get your desired starting result through gotcha or RNG. Usually in mobile games this means that people restart their account or create multiple accounts and try their luck with the early gotcha summons that these games offer until they get a couple of super rare and high tier rewards or just get the things they want and start with an advantage. This usually only takes a couple of minutes and that's why it's somewhat worth doing it, but is it going to be a thing in Crossworlds? While Nino Kuni does have multiple gacha summons in it, such as rare weapons and familiars, it is mainly an MMORPG, and thus it heavily focuses on long-term time investment and daily progression. Since it is also a game with a robust tutorial system and strong narrative, it takes quite long to get things started, even if you skip all the dialogue in the game. I have personally tested this in the last couple of days on my live streams, and it takes roughly two to two and a half hours to get to a point that you can do five summons of your choice. And even then it's either familiars or equipment, you have to choose. This is far too long in my opinion, and the rates and chances are way too low to even consider rerolling. Even if you decided to reroll earlier using singular pulls, we are talking about many many hours of rerolling on average, and the chances are just abysmal of getting something rare. I might underestimate the determination of some people, but this alone in my opinion makes it not worth to consider re-rolling in Nino Kuni Crossworlds. On top of all of this, as I mentioned, it is a game that heavily encourages progression and daily participation, and the amount of time wasted on re-rolling could be instead spent on leveling up and getting ahead of the curve, which is not only useful to unlock all daily activities fast, but also to avoid getting stuck in the wave of new players that's going to make certain parts of the game way too crowded to enjoy. So my final opinion is that I don't think re-rolling will be a valid option. But there's also some good news, or rather it's just speculation, but it's still good news. Content Creators with Greater Audience has been sponsored in the last couple of weeks to show the global version of the game, and on their broadcast they were able to show footage of Gotcha Summoning. This footage is from popular Final Fantasy XIV content creator Rin Karigani, whose links you can find in the description if you love Final Fantasy XIV content, so make sure to check him out. So, on this screen you can clearly see that there is a new player exclusive summon banner. Before we get into it, this is press version of the game and this is not guaranteed to be in global, but I'm quite optimistic about it. Now this banner says it rewards the player with natural 2 to 4 star familiars, 
so super rare four stars are not included, but it allows the player to reroll the rewards up to 10 times until you are happy with the results. Meaning, if this will be in the game, it's going to be a natural reroll feature. Now, the fun thing I've noticed by watching multiple sponsor streams is that this banner is somewhat rigged, meaning the rarities are fixed and it's only the familiars that change. Meaning, you always get one four star familiar, three three stars, and six two stars and it's only the familiars that hatch from these eggs that are different. I really hope this is true, because that's a great head start for everyone to either choose your favorite familiar, or go with the one that you think is personally better to start with. I will also release a video this week where I talk about familiars and which ones I recommend. Now I guess if this is going to be in the game, this one could potentially be worth re-rolling to get exactly the familiars you want, but since 3 star familiars are not that rare, I still honestly don't think it's worth it. And all this will be about just getting your desired 4 star familiar. Remember, it can only be natural 4 stars and super rares are not included. But that's pretty much all about rerolling that I thought of. For last, I'd like to clear a few misunderstandings that I've read in comments of my previous videos concerning multiple characters or playing with alts. So the way Nino Kuni works is that each server you join, you'll create your first character and you will have to give it a name. This name is going to be your profile's name for the whole server, meaning every other character you create on that server is going to have the same name. This also means all your inventory, achievements, titles, items, familiars, weapons, dailies, weeklies, cooldowns, everything is shared except your main story progression. What this means is first, you will not have to do your daily chores on multiple characters for advantage. So, if you dislike that, you can breathe up. Second, this also means you will have to choose one character that you want to spend most of your resources on, as you won't have enough to create more than one character for endgame. Now, some people misunderstood this as you shouldn't level up more than one character, but that's incorrect. This means all your upgrade materials should be spent on one character. In fact, you should level up all the other classes too, since there are benefits to it. Each character that is at least 10 levels below your highest level character will gain an experience boost and will be easier to level up. They will also be able to wear all the armor you acquired or use your familiars and builds, making it way easier to cruise through the story with them. And the reason you should do it is that Crossworld has a reward system for leveling up each character separately every 20 levels. Reaching level 20 and then 40 with all your classes is going to be crucial as these milestones give plus 25 backpack slots to your inventory. That is basically essential or you won't be able to play the game properly, trust me. You'll need all the inventory slots. And then you're going to progress through the higher milestones, you'll be rewarded with several other valuable rewards such as diamonds, as premium currency or special skill books. Because of the nature of the gacha system, each character has their own weapon type. And it is the main reason why you will have to choose a character that you'll mainly focus on as the weapon rewards you get from summons or through crafting will always be on the weapon that your current character can use. Meaning, if you pull with a rogue, you will always only get bows. So you should make sure you will always only do summons or crafting with the character you want to have weapons with. And sadly, unless you are willing to pay a lot or you're incredibly lucky, chances are you won't be able to play multiple characters on the highest level that your account is capable of but you'll still be able to enjoy certain easier or lower end content in the game when you feel like just messing around. But that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope it managed to clear up some information that I thought was crucial for Nino Kuni and I helped out some of you at least. I'll be continuing the prepare for launch series and tomorrow we will talk about familiar tier lists. So look forward to that one. I have a lot to say. Thank you so much for the incredible support on my videos. The channel has been growing with insane speed and honestly, it's terrifying. But uh, thank you so very much. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, be good and I'll see you all soon.